So, I've created a Fritz and Franz jig with a DRO. The reason that I wanted a Fritz and Franz with a DRO is I have a DRO on my um, outrigger fence, but it doesn't go all the way to the blade. And when you get down in here, there's not enough surface to rest the stock on. So, you know, getting under eight inches is kind of iffy or impossible. Um, now, I searched the uh, web, YouTube, for another uh, Fritz and Franz with a DRO and couldn't find one. So I kind of had to make it all up myself. So I'm sure someone has done this before. I just couldn't find any reference to it. And usually when I do that sort of thing, you know, I have no other references and I, I usually, things don't always go as planned. And that was happening here too. Uh, in the end though, uh, my accuracy is within my limits of 0 0.003. And I'm very happy with the way it turned out. Uh, what didn't work out was I had planned See, I made these um, stops, wooden ones, and I made them wooden on purpose so I could run them all the way out to the end, along with these guys, out to the end too, and just make one pass on the saw and have everything lined up. And then the idea was that I could come back and set zero by just putting a straight edge up there and running the stop out. And I was getting really inconsistent results. And in fact, uh, I was getting inconsistent results on the, um, the DRO itself. It, it's uh, uh, stated accuracy as 0 0.0015, and I wasn't getting anywhere near that. Uh, what I found though, what I did was I went back and uh, readjusted things. I found that this guy wasn't the same distance there as it was here. It wasn't very much, just a slight mit, bit. So I recalibrated that, got it a little closer. Also, on the initial setup, I was really close with these guys touching both surfaces all the way across. But right here, there was just the slightest bit of gap. So I worked that out too. So once I did that, uh, I started getting really good results. The way I calibrate it though, is I use the preset function on the DRO. What I do, I just set it anywhere randomly. Take some stock. Run it. Then I've got a measurement. Take the measurement and apply that measurement to the DRO and I'm off and running and then everything is good. So uh, this video is not going to be a detailed video on how to uh, build the jig. I'm just going to give you a good overview. There's a couple good videos on uh, YouTube for building the jigs uh, and I kind of borrowed heavily from uh, Steve at uh, Extreme Woodworkers. So I'll put a link to those other videos in the description. So you can go there if you want to build and you can just apply my DRO stuff to either one of those, hopefully. So let's get into these flip stops first here. Um, I have an issue with a lot of flip stops that are commercially available. They're poorly made, they wiggle, the stop wiggles, they're out of square. Uh, just very poorly made. There's good ones out there though, some very good ones out there, uh, but I wanted a specific size and I actually wanted the wood uh, stop because I wanted to square them up with the blade. Uh, just run past here, blade going, uh, it flushes up the uh, fences there with the um, stop at the same time. Um, so I made my own. Um, to start with, I made a long section of this, with two grooves, fits the runners in there. 
cut them to length, drilled a hole. That hole is for a quarter inch bolt and it's tight fitting. I had to pound it in there. There's a lock nut on this side with a flip and two nylon washers there. Tighten it up and this guy is pretty sturdy. It doesn't bend or anything like this. Now, when I glued these guys in, there were a little tight in here on purpose. What I did was I came back slowly with a scraper and a little sand, mini sanding block and worked that until it just barely started moving. Then I took this stuff. You could use wax or uh, this stuff is called slip it sliding compound. Works great. But I found that if you work this down where it moves really easy before you put this stuff on it, when you put that stuff on it, it's going to be a little sloppy potentially. So it just barely moves, put this stuff on it, and then it moves nicely. Now the runners for the plates here were done much the same as these guys. Let me take this off. I have a lock system here, you can see. Um, the runners here were made oversized a little bit and shaved down gradually until they just barely fit in the groove there and then waxed up and they run nice and smooth. So on these fences, the adjustable, I wanted them adjustable so you can see they fit in the T-track there and they have screws, loosen them up, move them in and out. So I can always adjust for a, a fresh zero, a different blade or whatever. And um, I've lined it with this rubber material. I don't know where to tell you to get that at. It was something just laying around the shop and I used it up. So come on over here and let's have a look at this DRO and how I have it set up. So the brand of this guy is Eye Gaging DRO Plus. Kind of cheap, a lot of plastic on it, um, but the big thing for me was it was cheap to buy. And so far it seems to be holding up to its accuracy claims. Um, this guy's a little, likes to move on me. That bothers me a little bit, but I can get over that. Um, so anyway, I haven't had a lot of experience on this guy, so I don't know that I could recommend him. That may come with use if there's something that really drives me crazy about it, or I may really like it. I don't know yet. To hook this guy up, I had to fashion this little connector. Uh, one to hook to the um, DRO and tie it in to the stop. What I did, I got some 16th inch aluminum, cut it out, and just connected it. Very simple, works fine. Again, like I said earlier, the way I zero it out is go to the preset uh, function and set it up and uh, cut and then reset those numbers to the number that that piece was cut to. So let's cut a piece and show you what kind of accuracy I get. So I'm just going to move this guy over at some and randomly stop. And we've got 2.117. So let's put our stock in there, make sure there's no crud in the way. Up against the stop. And And how close are we going to be to 2.117? Ooh, that's about 2.116. It's about one one thousandth off. That's plenty good for me. The last thing I want to talk about is this handle. It fits my hand really nicely. I started with the basic shape of my push stick handle. 
Then I took my rasps and just started working it, putting my hand on it until it felt good. I like it much better than the commercially available ones. So this is the first time through with this guy. I, uh, after use, I may make some improvements, may tweak it here or there a little bit, may trash it all together and start over, may leave it the same, don't know yet, got to put some hours in it. Uh, if you have made uh, Fritz and Franz with a DRO, I'd love to hear from you. If this video was of interest to you, if you got some benefit out of it, please hit subscribe and like. See you next time. Thank you.